What's up, everybody? Bobby Moretti, Surviving Sports Picks, SSP for short to some. Just want to come on, another quick video. Um, want to talk about the dogs and the layouts of uh, of the fruit and these leagues. I'm just telling you, man, I'm winning dogs. I'm plucking dogs like crazy. I won the Canucks. Uh, the first game is a dog. I think they were 135. Plucked them the second game at 130. Then I went blues, and then uh, I came back, and uh, I took the Canucks again at 125, so that was three dogs. I mean, you just got to understand the ebb and flow and the narrative of these leagues. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They're, they're laying the fruit there. You know, guys trying to grab, you know, those, the, you know, the nets with the bucks and saying they could pick that game, and, or, you know, they wish they picked that game. And, you know, you had the uh, the Orlando the other day against the Bucks, and, I mean, you, the, the fruit is – is, is, is hidden, man. You got to understand where that's my job. My job is to lead you to the fruit. So anyway, uh, Canucks, three dogs, and then I knew when to go with the Blues. And uh, just like last year in Game 7 in Boston, plus 150, I took the Canuck, I took the uh, Blues and won the National Hockey League Stanley Cup. So I'm just trying to tell you about how there's a narrative and an ebb and flow of these leagues and when these when these games are sitting a certain way. It was just like the other day. I mean, the, the, the Cubs had won four or five in a row, and they were all one, plus 121 dogs. Same day, I had the Marlins at plus 153. I mean, there's two dogs right there. And then last night, uh, game one, I went Jazz plus uh, six and a half. Uh, lost that one. But I came right back in game two. Plus 160 dog. It was legit hanging fruit. Jazz game two. I mean, it, you know. And then today, I mean, you know, you got the you got the uh, injury to what's his name with Houston, and uh, you know, you got uh, you, 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 I had the Rockets in game one and came right back with him in game two today against the Thunder. I mean, it's it's absolutely no brainer. It was hanging fruit. So the, I already got the uh, Nuggets. To, I already got the Rockets today in the bag. So, I mean, that's the way it works, man. I mean, it's not very hard to figure out. You just got to pay attention. That's what I do as a, as a full-time capper. Day in and day out, I'm on it. And uh, there's a, I keep telling you, there's a narrative and an ebb and flow to these these leagues and, and to these these uh, these games, uh, night in and night out. I mean, I, I beat up the, uh, the Avalanche series. I won that one hands down. I beat up the, uh, I beat up the Tampa Bay. Uh, series. If you go back to my YouTube channel and listen to when I broke down what we were playing before sports went black, when sports went black, um, I had the Avalanche in Tampa because uh, I'm not a big futures guy, but a lot of guys like talking futures, and so I, I told them how I felt uh, about a month, a little over a month before the blackout, and it was the Avalanche in Tampa. I said, from a capper standpoint, we got to let it play out. But uh, day, and, and you have to let it play day to day with the narrative and the ebb and flow uh, into the playoffs to crown a champion, and that's and that's true. So, I mean, I, it was the same way when I had Toronto Raptors a month out. Yeah, I didn't bet them every night. I bet against them some nights, stayed away some nights, and uh, that's the way you got to cap games. But the point is, I still had Toronto months out and until I was proven, until until I saw something different, and I didn't, and I ultimately had them, and and, and they beat Golden State, but. Um, yeah, so anyway, my point is, um, you know, uh, beat up the uh, the Lightning series, the Avalanche series. I tippy-toed around the minefields in the Vegas series and Philadelphia. And, and every time I, I went into the Philadelphia series and had Philadelphia, they won. And I, I plucked a couple games with, when, when, I, uh, when I needed to with, with the Vegas. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the, that's just the, that's just the gut feeling I had about those series. People could say, "Ah, they were easy series," but to me, I, I wanted I rather tippy toe. I knew I knew more. I felt better about the Avalanche and, and Tampa because I think that could be the cup. I, I told you about the Canucks. If you go back and listen to my my tape on YouTube, I, I set up the National Hockey League. I'm just about dead on, right right on target with what I said during the blackout. All right, so go go listen to my YouTube channel on the National Hockey League, and uh, it, I was talking about exactly what we're seeing right now. I had Calgary, I had the Canucks. Uh, you know, 25 years since the since the Canadian team won the Cup, bro. This could be the year, but I still think I still think it's going to be uh, uh, the Avalanche in Tampa. But it could be it could be the Canucks in Tampa. But it could also the Bruins are playing well again, so I think those are the top four teams that have a shot. 
Uh, and then obviously they could they could sneak Philly in there if they want, but I don't think this is going to be Philly's year. I don't think they're going to win at the Flyers. But anyway, I'm talking dogs. I'm talking knowing when to pull the trigger on certain games. Um, Jazz, Canucks three times, but back to the Blues. Uh, Cubbies, plus 121 on a six-game winning streak or seven-game winning streak, five, six, seven-game winning streak. Marlins were there for the picking. Jazz, plus 160 yesterday. Nobody wins more games than me on a day-to-day. -day. Nobody. I, I, I pick more winners day-to-day -day than anybody. So if anybody's interested, man, I got five new tiers up on my Patreon. You can simply Google Surviving Sports Picks. Um, the five tiers come up. Uh, I got Major League Baseball at $35. Every, every, um, every, every tier gets golf and hockey. So Major League Baseball is $35. I combined the NBA with college basketball. You get hockey and you get golf. NBA combined with college basketball is 35 bucks. You got NFL with college football, hockey, and, and, and the PGA, 35 bucks. And then all my work, because come September when football, NFL, and college football is rolling, and uh, hockey starts in September with the NBA and then into college football, I got a little savings there for everybody. Um, from the $55 tier, and they're all playing concurrently. So I have my, my all my work is $55, all sports, and then every every tier individually gets my locks picks, my max picks, and they get my um, they get my um, basic picks of the day, and they get my uh, best dogs and my best parlays. So anyway, I told you during the blackout there wasn't much to, much to talk about, wasn't much topic. I told you once sports started, I'd be going right back at it. Let me just review my, my records from when sports went black. Uh, all my work is documented on Patreon from day one in April of 19. Every single pick, all my work, championships, Tiger, LSU, um, the Toronto Raptors, the Blues. I had uh, the Chiefs. Uh, I had sharp money on the Chiefs at minus 110 right after on that Monday right after the AFC Championship. Uh, right after my Dodgers got bumped, I went 17 and five, and I had I said it was going to be the Nationals who I had won money on all year against the Astros, and I had them in Game Seven to win the World Series. So anyway, last year in Major League Baseball, I was 728 and 467, 1195 games played. That's a good body of work, 61 percent. I play 60 to 65 percent on the daily day to day. Right now, I'm playing over 75 percent. Right now, right now in the last. Uh, Five or six days, I'm playing well over uh, 75%. I've gotten like 12 and one in three days on my locks and max picks, and I'm well over 40 and 15 or so on all my overall picks. Uh, my locks picks were 645 and 359. My max picks was 706 and 467. My college hoops was 644 and 410. NBA was 354 and 214. And the National Hockey League, which I was battling all year, I was on it. You can go back to the tape. The Vegas wants you there. It's a tough sport. It's a balanced league. Um, they make money in that league, but I love hockey and I grinded it out. I told you I'd be ready for the playoffs, just like the Blues plus 150 dog last year in Boston in game seven to win the cup. I'm doing well again already. I was 286 and 263. I was starting to stretch over 500 and I would have kept going. So anyway, what I'm saying is Google surviving sports picks, pick a tier. It's my job to produce and I do. And I want to lead us to the fruit, which I will. And I'm available every day to go over games with whatever you might be thinking for that day and that night. I'll give you ample time. I won't give you three minutes. And uh, I'm always looking for an edge, and I'm listening to you and learning. And I'll give you 100% effort on what, uh, how I feel about the certain games that you're talking about that given day into the night. So it's tough times. Money's tight. I get it. Kids, food, virus, uh, jobs lost. I understand. I look at this as an investment with me. I'm a different animal. It's in the blood play at a high level. I grew up with my old man, my mother, my family, uncles and cousins and street uh, smart uh, sports guys in New York. Father was bringing me to the garden when I was knee high. Rangers, Knicks, uh, old Yankee Stadium, Shea, Yanks, Mets, Jersey, Nets. Go back with Dr. J. I go back with Jabbar, Harlem and Brooklyn. Uh, you got the Islanders on the island and now Brooklyn, Jersey's in Brooklyn, Jets, Giants, uh, Nets are in Brooklyn now. The knowledge is priceless. Come see me. Google Surviving Sports Picks. Pick a tier. Hop on board. Win a little extra pin money weekly and monthly.
Peace.